Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, it's just, I don't know how this happened, I had the most incredible opportunity to sit down with Selena Gomez herself and talk about Rare Beauty. We went through some of her favourite products, some new products that have just launched, and we tried them on together. I've added a few little bits afterwards, um, because I couldn't do a full face in front of Selena going, I was so nervous. <laughs> and we also played a little game at the end of the video. Okay, let's cut to the reason why you're here. Here we go. Selena Gomez, what else can you say? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much again for doing this. This is such an incredible opportunity and to talk about a brand which is amazing also and can I say thank you for launching in the UK the amount of uh, messages I get that's like when it when is it coming to the UK though I'm like mm, I don't know <laughs> it happened people have been waiting so so this is absolutely absolutely incredible and it's going to be in space NK online from the 1st of February and the 22nd in stores so we can get it very soon okay so just for anyone in the uk who's not familiar with rare beauty can you kind of describe it to us a little bit and and what it's all about because it not only is it an incredible makeup brand but it has a really good cause behind it as well so if you could share a bit of that with us that'd be amazing so when i had the idea of stepping into the beauty space i know that i wanted it to be something different and separate from other ones and i only mm -hmm. wanted that because i feel connected to makeup in a different way i used to mm -hmm. feel like i need needed to look a certain way or i uh if i didn't i would look you know not pretty like i just i would go You're through right. all the things in my mind so i wanted my brand to feel like what you are, which is just unique and special and um, and people who want to just play and not feel pressure to look like everyone else. And I think that's what the goal was with Rare Beauty. And we also launched our Rare Beauty Fund, which is yeah. our goal of reaching $100 million in 10 years for mental health resources. We've already donated 1.2 to eight different causes. So it's going well really far, uh, so far and I'm just thrilled. That's an incredible amount as well to donate. That's, that's absolutely amazing. One thing I want to touch on as well, you said about the brand being kind of something that people relate to a little bit more. And I think it's something Rare Beauty has really got perfect is I think when we're looking at makeup and brands that we want to shop from nowadays, we think of them as if that brand was a physical human or a friend, would we relate to that brand? And I think Rare Beauty is is that brand where it's like, you know what, you're a really good person and you're likable and you're, you're a calming influence. And it, it's just, it, it's a brand that, like you said, no pressure, no, it has to be this way, it has to be this way. It's, I think it's everything that comes through it is everything I, I'm sure you wanted it to be. I think you've done an amazing, amazing job with a brand. It's, it's amazing. Thank you. So you are gonna go for your signature look with me today using some products from Rare Beauty. I have to say, I, I have some like key favorites um, from the brand, but we're gonna go through everything. But I, there are some textures I wanna discuss with you as well, because there are two textures in particular in this brand, which I, I are truly, truly unique to Rare Beauty, but I've never, never experienced from another brand and your melting blush was one of them when i used it i was i was confused i was like wait a minute is this is it is it meant is it liquid is it is it cream it, it was just the most incredible texture um so maybe we'll touch on that as we go through it but it, it's an amazing amazing product thank you so much okay where do we begin obviously i start with moisturizing foundation yeah. i better whack on some foundation quickly I'm so sorry. Let me just get that on my face really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so nice and even on you. The foundation is, is incredible alone, but the brushes, they almost mimic, this is going to sound really weird, but they mimic, to me, finger fingers. <laughs> the pressure yeah. you would get from your hands as well. So it's almost like when you're using the concealer brush, it's like, this is the amount of pressure I would use with my finger, but mm -hmm. less... Um, less, not, not that your fingers are invasive to your face, but you know, it, I feel like I'm being a little bit more careful and a little bit more gentle when I'm using that. Yeah, I have a whole little like station and it's all rare beauty, but it's not organized. <laughs> so then I have um, three new shades of my new soft flinch blush and it's these colors that are coming out. So these became really popular. It's the first blush that I had ever released. And yeah. these were just a dot and basically melts right into your skin that's one yeah. of the 
questions. The other one that you are mentioning is the melting blush. Um, I call it my little pebble because I think it's just so cute and it's very it's so easy cute. To apply. Yeah. Um, it's it's mousse. It kind of feels like a light. Yeah. And it feels so good and a little bit goes a long way. So I use that mm. with actual blush brush that I released. Um, okay, cool. It's really easy to apply. It's sometimes all I'll do is a little concealer and some blush and mascara and I'll feel good to go. Um, and then after that, we're going to apply the mascara. Have you tried my mascara yet? I have. And there's something in particular I love about mascara. Maybe I'll touch on when we're using it. But I, I love a, a different brush. And there's a certain feeling I look for with mascaras. And it's like the grab of the lash as you kind of pull it through. There's a yeah. very slight, tiny, tiny little tug. And then you kind of know that, you know, it's grabbed every lash and it's pulled through properly. Um, it's a very good mascara. Very good mascara. This one is my like probably proudest joy um i just really wanted to create a mascara that was for all lashes whether they yeah. were long straight short mm. sparse i wanted it to feel like anybody could wear it so we did a yeah. lot of testing mesmerize my highlighter is my favorite so my highlighter looks like this yes. um and it it looks like there's tons of pigment and it's true but when you put it on you can kind of see it but then as you kind of let yeah. it go it's kind of just like everything is supposed to, all of my products are supposed to melt together really well. They absolutely do. Let me tell you something about the liquid highlight, which may be a little bit embarrassing and a little bit weird, but when I really like, I, I've been I've been a makeup artist since I was 18 years old and makeup means so much to me. So when I use that highlighter, when I really like a product, <laughs> I tear up a little bit. Not because I'm like, oh my God, but I get like really excited. I'm like, this is incredible. And that highlighter, um, when I first, reviewed Rare Beauty on my channel, I used it and I was like, I was very plain faced and because I was kind of getting a little bit like, oh my god, this is amazing, this is amazing. <laughs> and I'm literally like, this is one of the best highlighters I've ever used. I love a highlighter that looks like skin. It looks yeah. like it's glowing. And I think when you see it in the packaging, it looks metallic and, and super intense. But when it's on, it's the most incredible it's like you've had a facial and it's like you've just had like the most amazing skin, you know, you've been taking your vitamins and everything. Yeah, exactly. really good. <laughs> yeah. It's such, such an incredible, incredible highlight. and one of my absolute favorites. I love it so much. Love it. So we have the, the blush as well. You can use the soft pinch um, or you can use the melting blush. Okay, cool. I think, oh, you know what? I do have your new ones. So maybe I should. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I might go for a color that I don't usually go for. I'm very usually neutral and peachy, but with these ones, there, there's a lot of pigmentation, but if you do use a, for just the right amount, I think you can get like a really nice like whisper of product almost. So I might give it a go. I'm gonna try Encourage. Uh, let's try Believe. Is that the deeper one? That one's slightly deeper, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going Amazing. I wanted to ask, that I, I was like, I'll do a little bit and then I just put loads on my face. <laughs> I wanted to ask you a question as well about launching your own brand. I think with, with your whole your whole brand, it's all about feelings, emotions, being okay with how you're feeling and kind of not necessarily being like, you know, let's fix this feeling, but living in your feelings and experiencing them, you know, how, how you do. When you came to launching your own brand, I personally can't think of anything more terrifying. <laughs> Was there any kind of fears that you had about launching your own makeup and, and going into a world that is kind of, there's a lot going on, you know? Yeah, I think I was very nervous, you know? It is such a competitive lane of just mm. people do their own thing. And I right. didn't necessarily want to compete. I think I just wanted to fit in a category where maybe not a lot has been paid attention to. So mm -hmm. um, I'm really big on making and creating product that has something to do with things that I'm passionate about, whether it's education right. or children, human rights. I think that why I wanted to do that was because so many people were talking about my personal life. So many people were writing stories and they were just all over the place. and. You know, I sat back and I was like, I think this is a really good opportunity for me to tell people what's really going on. And yeah. not ashamed to admit that it, I have, you know, challenges. And mm -hmm. the, that's 
something that I have to live with, but I'm, you know, I'm, I go to therapists. I, right. you know, I'm on the proper medication, which I believe. Mm-hmm. And I think it's really a combination of me just feeling like, Hey, all, all of you, I'm not trying to pressure you into feeling anything. I'm just saying it's totally normal to compare or to feel like you're not good enough. I've felt all those feelings before. So that's where rare stem from. Amazing. It's so true. And I think of course you more than anyone being in the public eye and having one thing, I mean, for example, when I first started doing YouTube and I released like one video, I got one bad comment and that one bad comment stays with you. <laughs> like, you it know, does. forever and ever. And you, you get used to it, but you don't quite get over it, you know? Yeah. And I think I think at whatever level of um, in the public eye you are, obviously some, a lot more than others, it can be, it can be a very intimidating thing to do and you're very much it all it always kind of intrudes on your space like you know I could be at home in bed and I can look at my phone something's there or you can be you know just eating dinner in in your home and something's there it's it's like you never have that kind of break away so is there is there anything you do kind of leading on from that that you consider self-care where you're like hey I, I can get my mind clear for just a moment well i love like uh, it's gonna sound really weird but scary movies are really fun for me to watch when i'm (laughs) really emotional only because it's like it kind of takes you out of whatever it is that you're in exactly exactly Um, i suggest with a friend obviously i still get scared (laughs) but, uh, but yeah for some reason just doing that and not paying attention to what I look like and just really right. enjoying something that has nothing to do with my, you know, like zombies aren't coming to get me, so it's fine. <laughs> yet, yet, so far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we never know. No, I totally agree. I love a good, like, um, ghost story podcast and things like that. So I love to like clean. Like after after we do this, cleaning this would be my self care. I don't know why it's so boring, but uh, <laughs> cleaning is no, very relaxing. boring. It is, right? And then just something on in the background that you can pay attention to, but you don't have to get too intense on is, yeah, I love it. I really like that. That's, a, that's I've never heard anyone agree that something horror is, is in any way relaxing. That's a first. <laughs> is the first did you try the, the highlighter i haven't put the highlighter on yet okay and i think i'm gonna try a new i usually use um enchant but i think i'm gonna use mesmerize nice. um because it looks I... a little bit more like am i right in thinking it has more like a rosy gold kind of undertone to it rather than mm-hmm. that pinky yep i tried um this once with just on top of eyeshadow. I did a whole eyeshadow look and I was like, okay, it's kind of, it's kind of boring though. <laughs> what can I do to kind of amp it up? And then I put this highlighter right like in the middle and it sits so incredibly well on top of eyeshadow as well, just the smallest amount. And it just gave it that tiny, tiny pop. I love when people try their own things and have yeah. their own takes on my makeup. It always inspires me and it's always just, it's the best part. You've had your makeup done by so many amazing people. Is there any kind of like highlighting tips you give for people? Because I think we see online, we always see like line, 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 you know? You know, it's pretty simple only because you don't want to use too much of it. Mm. Uh, Obviously, the more you use, the more glow that you'll get. But Um, I think for me, less is more. So I just apply Mm -hmm. a little bit Mm -hmm. right to the cheekbone. And if I feel like it, my nose and then a little on my lip. Sometimes I get a little daring. I'm not suggesting you try this, but like I'll do a little bit of the highlighter on my brow. Yes. Give it that little snatched. Yeah. I love that. And people are like, oh, that's such a 90s thing to do. But it looks incredible. It ties it all together, right? It kind of makes this nice, like, V shape with a highlight. I think it's, I, I really, really like it. I re- I'm not like a colour on my lip person. It makes me uncomfortable on me for some reason. What I love about these is that I don't try to apply a lot of layers. I try to yeah. get in one wand as much mm. as I can. Mm. And I barely just pout it and it's good to go. So it doesn't... Yeah feel like you're just harboring around this thick clump of, of, of. exactly so yeah. <laughs> i like to just bust off the dust off the little ends make sure it's not mm-hmm. too much nice i'm gonna need a little mirror here i think i 
I love this one because it's pretty much my lip color. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. And I love a true nude. <laughs> yes. What gives you a little more moisture, if you would like, my nearly neutral lip balm is really, really fun. It's Ooh, like yes. a touch of that in the middle and it will just give you a little bit of the hydration. This is another texture I wanted to ask you about because they're so nice and so lightweight and it's almost like they feel like water going on and the way they yeah. sit is so so natural so i didn't i didn't blend in my highlight there the way they sit on on the lip feels it, it's hard to describe because it's not balmy because it doesn't have that kind of like i find some lip balms uncomfortable and heavy yeah. whereas this truly does just feel like oh weightless really really weightless yeah, and really like comfortable to wear your mouth and all the like gel <laughs> stuff comes out. the strings and it's all flapping everywhere yeah <laughs> What I'm really excited about that just launched would definitely be my Always an Optimist Soft Radiance. Yes. Um, this to me is something that I've wanted to do for a while. Um, yes, in the world of like people wanting to apply lots of amounts everywhere. What we try to do with this is that it's so lightweight, um, mm. it comes with a little, little thing and you just kind of do a little and then what I would say is using our new all over dusting powder brush. I have this, yes. or there's a fancier way to say it. <laughs> uh, I'm always like that little thing. <laughs> it makes sense. Put a little bit in, um, just kind of dust it a little. And I like to start up here and I'm gonna do the T-zone. Mm, nice. I love to keep the moisture of the highlighter and everything in. Now, one of my makeup artists has uh, used the sponge that we have um, and we'll just kind of use a little bit extra under the eye. Nice. Have you ever been into baking? Was baking ever your thing with the heavy, heavy powder everywhere? Or did you always like it a bit more natural? I was really bad at that stuff. And I put some under my eye and it showed up in a photograph. And it looked oh. like just, it just Of course. Oh. So um, <laughs> I was going to vow to myself never to use that again. However, yeah. What I wanted this to feel like is that it is super light. You don't feel like there's tons of powder on, but it does help if you would like, whatever you want to call it, just to apply sure. a little bit under your eye. Um, I'm not good at it, but using a little bit of my, which is a bit lighter than any other powder, we just mm -hmm. wanted to use it a little in areas that maybe you wanted a bit more coverage. So yeah, definitely it's, it's incredibly more, soft. Yeah, we don't like to use the mm -hmm. word like baking or anything. I think it's more so just like what you're comfortable wearing with my product. And because as well, this brush, it has that really nice little tapered edge there. You can get right into these little, right into these greasy bits, you know, right there. Yeah, really the nice brush and really soft as well. I love this blush. Just this, bl this blush is so nice. And the highlight as well, when you move your face, it just catches the light, you know, wherever you're moving. It's just the nicest, like, oh, they have really nice skin. You know, it doesn't look crazy. I love yeah, it. I love it so much. Fun. On my TV show I'm working on, um, it's called Early, Only Murders in the Building. And um, I love Steve it. and Marty both use my foundation. <laughs> oh, do they? Oh, no way. Listen, am I allowed to ask you about a date for season two? My fiance, Craig, if I don't ask you, he will kill me if we don't have a season two release date because it, we binged it. It was the most incredible thing, Only Murders in the Building. We loved it so, so much. So oh, sweet. I actually okay. e don't even know the start of or uh, of when it will release, but we yeah. are in the shooting, so. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll say like soon, but not soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might do a little bit of your mascara then and talk about that a little bit more. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's yeah. do that. Let me show the camera. Where is it? Oh, I have to do that old fashioned hand behind the thing. So. I absolutely love a brush that dips very slightly in the middle here. And this one has the, the, the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little dip. But to me, that means volume without being overbearing. And my lashes as well. I have the worst. Who was that elephant from Sesame Street with the lashes? <laughs> Who... <laughs> you know, his eyelashes just point straight. My lashes are like that. And this is 
Okay, that's a bit overdramatic, but this mascara really, I was trying it out, really lifts up the lashes. Not crazy, it's not like, you know, like this, but it, it lifts them just enough that they're, they're not, not, my lashes kind of fall below my lash line and you can, they kind of close my eyes a little bit. Yeah, but this one has that tiniest little lift. Really, really nice. And I was saying, it's almost like it grabs the lash as it pulls out. It, it feels like this tiny little grip which to me means it's coating every single lash. Yeah. Um, yeah, love it. I love a thick, a thick, thick brush. I think people think clumpy when they see thicker brushes. Oh, yeah. Um, but ab like, absolutely not. Ever since I created this mascara, I stopped using false lashes. Oh, really? Are you a false lash person? Do you like them on your rather yeah, not if you don't have to? to? You know, while I was, before even creating the line, I was rather addicted to the extensions. Mm -hmm. um, just because it, you know, it is that idea of not putting on so much makeup. Yeah. And when we created this mascara, I just stopped because I, A, think those aren't necessarily the best for your um, follicles, your exactly. lash. Exactly, yeah. Um, but at the same time, I was so pleased with this mascara. And you, like you said, it naturally lifts, but at yes, the same yeah. time, if you wanted to use, you know, curling, a product that would work as well, but you really don't have to. Oh, yeah, you would have like incredible lashes if you if you use a curler with it. They'll look like um in like little tiny lash inserts. It'll be amazing. It's gonna do my bottom lashes as well. Yeah, of course. The bottom lashes really hit good. I have very long bottom lashes. People don't notice, but when I put mascara on them, it's like spiders. Yeah, I think I just spidered myself here, but you know what? I'm into it. And I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, keep it. do it. <laughs> You, are you finished with your mascara? Yes, yeah, you go ahead. I'm if I put any more on, I'm gonna be my lashes will be touching my eyebrows. So <laughs> That's when I knew I had to stop the extensions, is when it was touching my ball. I was like, yeah, this is it. Guys. Yeah, uncomfortable. So something that we wanted to do as well as add the loose powders, everybody's always asking for some color. And obviously mm. during, you know, hard times of being alone a lot and you're just you know trying your hardest to get through it i i do miss the sun <laughs> i do miss yes. oh, having some of that yeah so we were careful to call it necessarily a bronzing stick um mm. we wanted it to feel like it was just this effortless balm and yes. essentially you have two ways of using it you can just apply a few dots that kind of go down or you could do a little light line like that, whatever is easiest for you. And you're gonna do like a circular motion a little bit that goes up. You don't wanna go down with the bronzer necessarily. Mm. It's really smooth, the way it applies as well. It's almost very similar to, um, almost like, is, is it weird to say it's similar to the foundation in terms of the way it blends really easily? Um, yeah. I do have sometimes with bronzing sticks, I'm a little bit like, oh, I don't want to use too much and it'd be overwhelming, but I don't think you can really go crazy, crazy with this unless you really built it up a lot. This is a very natural blend, super, super easy, effortlessly into the, the other products as well. I do that tiny touch of, you know, a little bit of sun-kissed feeling. Okay, so why don't we go on to one of your favorites with which would be the liquid liner. Yes, okay. So this was a big sellout for us. We do yeah. a little shit of it to get the formula going. I like to do a few lines just to make sure it's going good. I would love to know your technique. My technique is a little different, but I kind of start at the end of my eye and then I just gently make it a straight line. Nice. My, <laughs> so I haven't done liquid liner on myself in such a long time, but usually my advice is just go for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm it like, is. the, no, the I'm quicker not... you flick it, yeah. The I'm quicker you do it, the quicker it goes. You know what though, it's kind of your, your liner is very much a very signature look for you. So to, to release a liner, like, you know, a perfect liner as well. A really nice brush, by the way, as well. It's very arty. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels very, calligraphy almost yes and that is exactly what we wanted it to feel like it is over a thousand bristles and it has a calligraphy <laughs> style i mean people can use this for whatever they 
desire, even creating cute little designs I've seen people do. Um, it's just very light, thin, and then the more you apply it, the thicker it gets. So I think for me, I usually just do the corners to create the eye look. I find if I go all the way in, it's very, it's a very big statement for me. And my eyes are kind of similar to yours where I want to keep everything. Right. And I think as soon as you go in, I'm, I'm very slightly hooded on this inside corner. So as soon as I go in, it, it closes down that, that middle quite quickly. But I think just like you said, that, that point where it's almost like, just at the edge, almost halfway through, I think is a really good stopping point. The the thing that I like to obviously complete my look with is the four in one yeah. optimist thing. It kind of looks like this, and it's a bit of a finishing spray, so you want to give it a few shakes. Mm. Um, because I have applied the powder, what I try to do um, is usually stay in this area. So as I keep it about eight inches away and then just kind of do one, two, one, two. And then you can kind of just let that be what's- Let it happen. Yes. And then you kind of keep the T-zone area like a little bit out of that yeah. way. Yeah. Can we talk about the smell? The smell of the spray uh. is incredible. It's so clean. I feel like I'm in a really expensive hotel. That's okay. <laughs> you know? Feel yeah. like you can apply it during the day, like after you've been at work a few hours, like mm. it's really easy to use. So mm. I always wanted one because I used to be a big fan of like rose water and stuff yes. like that. Yeah, and it just yeah. makes you feel refreshed, especially when you're traveling and working and stuff. Yeah. So um, I was excited to, to create this one and it has like the white water lily, uh, gardenia, mm. yeah, a botanical blend. Um, yeah. So it's really really inviting and it just makes you feel good it really does if there's something really calming about it if this was a fragrance like a perfume just totally. saying, it would be really good nice <laughs> <laughs> just same for future you know <laughs> i feel very fresh i usually i always feel a little bit kind of um uncomfortable with, without fake lashes on but this it, everything's framed and it feels good i really like it this is Yay. beautiful so i i thought right i thought since <laughs> since you're launching in the uk why don't we i don't know about you but i find some dialects within the uk a little bit difficult to understand so what i've done i've taken a phrase from each country of the united kingdom so we have one from scotland one from england one from wales and one from northern ireland and i want you to guess okay. what each phrase means now i'm not saying they're difficult but i didn't know some of these until yesterday none of them are like gross or weird or anything like that they're all very like they're quite nice. So we're going to start with Wales. Wales have our own language, Welsh. And this word is kutch. I and I can thought. use it in a sentence. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Um, kutch. What? Yeah. I can use it in a sentence if you want me to. Okay. So let's say you're out shopping and one of your fans see you, they might run up to you and want to give you a, a big kutch. Oh, like a squishy hug. Yeah, it's a hug. Oh, that's I saw that definitely like, not crotch. <laughs> okay, up to our friends in Scotland. Now this is a phrase and it's pure Barry. Pure shit? Pure, kind, kind of. Do you want me to use it in sentence before I give away the whole yeah. answer? So, it can be, I've had such a long day, I'm pure Barry. Tired. Yeah, very tired. So pure nice. is Barry, and then Barry is tired, which I don't see. Maybe someone can explain <laughs> the connection I, there. Be me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, England. So I've gone for Cockney rhyming slang, and this is Adam and Eve. It. Like, do something rebellious? No. Or have sex? Uh, no. I don't, I don't know why I had to double check. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, they were pretty bad influences. In a sentence, um, oh, I'm on Zoom with Selena Gomez. Would you Adam and Eve it? She like to no. Believe it. <laughs> oh, could you Adam and believe it? That's actually funny. I might use that. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. Now, this is the... I just don't know if anyone would ever know this, unless you're from Northern Ireland. So I don't know why I've put it in this, but... How, <laughs> how your waist... Twist. Yeah, I think I've, I don't know how to pronounce it, so... Hold I think your waist? No. 
which I thought it was when I first saw it. And I thought that's not really, why would you need to tell someone to- I know. Hold <laughs> let's say, let's say I was in, um, I don't know, where do people argue? A restaurant, if you're on Real Housewives. I'm in a restaurant and I'm arguing with my friends and one of them screaming at me and I shout, how your waist, I'm trying to talk. Oh, like, like, calm, like don't speak your up. Like don't speak up. Yeah, yeah, it's please be quiet. like. Shut up! How are you? Oh, yeah, like, bitch, please. Yeah, like stop. Okay. okay. <laughs> and that is, I'm pretty wow, confident that now. Was so yeah, fun. I love you're going to be able to understand everything everyone says everywhere oh, because of that yeah. one quiz. <laughs> love it. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. Oh, I, I absolutely, you. it's such an honor to speak to you. First of all, to use your brand with you, and knowing that it's coming to the UK, I think you're going to make a lot a lot of people very very happy so thank you it's been an absolute pleasure of course i hope one day when the craziness dies down we can meet in person absolutely one day thank you so much Selena. thank you so much thank you so much for joining me today everyone that was so so incredible selena was so incredibly friendly and kind so as i mentioned in the beginning of the video rare beauty is available only at space and k online from the 1st of february and in store from the 22nd of february so we have it it finally made its way to the uk so go ahead and check that out thank you so much again for joining me please consider subscribing follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok and i will see you very very soon bye